this beats with hooks. They seem to, to perform well for you. How did you first start connecting with singers and songwriters to put these beats with hooks together? Just networking, really. Just just networking via, you know, all different sources, social media. Um, I met, you know, a couple through MEC Club as well um, that were already kind of beat, beat makers and singers as well. Um, and even people, you know, some artists that were, you know, liking and, and purchasing some of my beats, I would reach out to them and say, look, you know, would you be interested in putting some hooks on, on my tracks? I think it would it would be really nice to hear what beats would sound like, um, you know, with some vocals in it. Because when you first start making beats, and I think, you know, you don't, you, you're not, you're not hearing anyone or you're not hearing any rappers or singers on your beat. So you never know what it's going to sound like. Um, so I think it's a, a really good step to, you know, hear what it would sound like with someone on it. And that also helps, you know, when you're writing, when you're writing, producing beats and then you're at getting someone to add a hook on it, you it's kind of like cements even more that like, you don't need to add too many sounds, you know? So I think that's also helped me progress as a producer as well. And to, you know, keep things a bit more simplistic and not just to add too much, but in general, yeah, just working with, you know, uh, artists, just reaching out to them. Um, and yeah, just, tr just trying to network with people. Uh, I think that's probably the best way um, to do that. And, and, you have people buying your beats, so why not ask them, you know? Yeah, and here's a question that, that a lot of other beat makers ask me all the time. In your experience, and I don't really have a great answer, um, in your experience, do beats with hooks sell better or about the same as just instrumentals? For me, it's kind of a bit of both. Um, and I think it also depends on the beat as well. Like a lot of my stuff is r&b so i think most most people that would be looking for beats with hooks would generally be rappers right um because it saves them from getting a featured artist the featured artist is already on the track all they've got to do is add their rap in their rap or whatever they want to do their part um yeah so i think it depends i think like for most my, my style of music it can be good because it gives the artist maybe a little bit of an idea and they may potentially go away and maybe use the beat and take the hook away or just add their own one but it might give them it's kind of like having a songwriter in the in the room with you isn't it you know you've already got someone that's given you a melody and an idea and a top line or something so um yeah i think it really all depends on the style of music you're creating in my in my opinion yeah i, I actually asked my email list of predominantly uh beat buyers um, and shout out to BeatStars for the MailChimp integration. Yeah. And I just asked, you know, what do what kind of, you know, do you want beats with hooks? Do you want beats without hooks? What do you prefer? And I got a lot of responses, but a lot of the responses were like, I love beats with hooks, but sometimes I want beats without hooks. Or <laughs> I, I write my own hooks, so I don't need beats with hooks unless the hook is hot. So I'm just kind of like, I guess I'll just keep doing both then. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think that's... Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do it. I mean, you yeah. you add the beat, you you upload the beat with the hook and upload it without, and then, you know, they've got the option. Um, but yeah, the best of both worlds is Rock5 five, Rock five said there. Yeah, honestly, I think sometimes it's just good marketing too. Yeah. Uh, because they'll hear the beat with the hook, see where the vocals fit in and say, you know what, I, I don't love this hook because the concept isn't right for what the beat is, is telling me I need to write. Um, but because I heard it with the hook, I'm going to reach out and, and get the version without the hook. 